just exiting Top Lock, which is by the New Inn Public House. Whilst I was working the lock, the boat came along, so I don't need to stop and shut the gate because he'll be able to go straight in. So, pleased about that. I'm going to stop and just fill my water bottle. I don't think my tank needs any water. Using my Nicholson's Waterways Guide number 3, I am going to explain the extent of today's journey. You will recall in the last episode, I had come up through Buckby Lock Flight and I had moored at Top Lock. Today I continue on my journey and I pass through Watford Staircase Flight. I then moor up near Bridge 9. And that will be the extent of today's journey. Well, I'm off again. <laughs> Next stop will be Watford Locks. My plan is to go through the locks today and then moor up and return to the marina tomorrow. So just record the time. It's uh, coming up to 20 past 12. Plenty of time to get up to the locks. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll soon be on home turf. I see the volunteer lock keepers I spoke to earlier just arrived back at Top Lock. The more observant ones amongst you might notice that I keep changing my cap. There's a reason for that. I put this cap on, this is a waxed cap, so it's designed to get wet and shed the water. The other cap, which is a sort of washed out, sort of leathery finish, when it's got wet before, the, the brown sort of stain has washed out of it, so uh, I tend to try not to get that one too wet. But with, the, with this up, I should be okay, but uh, you know, we had sun 10, 15 minutes ago, as you can probably see, it's now raining again. It's a boat coming towards me. Just passing the uh, CRT depot. These, these things here. Well, I'm at Norton Junction, so I'm going to bear right here. I sound my horn. I do a wide sweep, and if there is a boat coming down, it should be able to take evasive action. sign up there says Leicester 41 and a quarter miles. I can't see any boats at the moment which is good. Looks to be all clear. quite pleased with this jacket. It seems to have done a fairly good job keeping the rain off. I do have my yellow Canal and River Trust jacket with me but that's lined. It's better to wear that when it's really cold and it's one size too small so it's a very snug fit. It restricts your movement.
I'm gonna have to shut this camera down again. <laughs> Well, the rain got pretty heavy just now. As you can probably tell, the sun has come out. Still spitting a bit, but nothing serious. How changeable it is. But it was forecast, so no surprises. Looks lovely and green ahead. But it's brightening up again. <laughs> Just what we want. Interesting sky ahead. With the dark grey clouds with white clouds above them. That's past the boat. <laughs> Are the locks busy going up? Yeah, quite a few. Yeah. Quite a few other. I think I was told the locks were busy going up. And I then think I was told there were four waiting. I'm not really clear on that though. Hello. Oh yeah, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> Are the locks busy going up? They're yeah, not too bad, there's a couple of boats waiting. Okay, oh, that's great. Thanks, glad you enjoyed watching. Another view of the channel. <laughs> Since I've been in sort of foreign parts, further away from the Leicester line, I haven't been recognised so much. <laughs> in the terrain again now. One of the problems when you arrive at the locks is that um, I'm going to put this up. <laughs> one, one of the problems when you arrive at the locks is that there aren't many bollards to tie off to. So if there is a number or are a number of boats waiting, you've got to use a mooring pin. I've never been very good with mooring pins, getting them to stay in the ground and so forth. Well, what a, what a change. So I'm hoping that if there is a queue, I can at least moor properly in the way I like. Just had an horrendous downpour of rain and hail. I'm just arriving at the locks. I can see a boat ahead of me, which I think is moored up rather than wanting to go through the locks. I can't see any boats ahead of that. So I'm gonna pass this boat go and moor up and book in with the lock keepers so I can rise up through the locks. Everything is totally sodden. My trousers from top to bottom. The deck is awash.
So apart from this boat that I'm passing, there are no other boats here to go up, that is. <laughs> I've booked in to go up the flight. At the moment there is one in the flight of four, looks like a sole boater who's going up. I understand there are a couple of boats to come down. I've been asked to move up through the two lower locks, which are separate locks, they don't interconnect. So that's what I'm about to do now. going under the what I consider to be an ugly brick pedestrian bridge 1902 rebuilt 1976 I'm not sure if I can get far enough along to reach the ladder <laughs> I don't think I can. I'm just edging up very slowly at the moment. Actually, I need my. Uh... I'm just about to leave bottom lock number one and make my way into lock number two. I've just prepared it, the gates are open so I can motor straight in. As there will be boats coming down, I'm not going to shut the lock gate here because once I've moored up there will be boats coming down and they'll be able to come straight into the lock. How much easier the paddles are here to use than elsewhere. You just don't realise it. The Buckley ones were very difficult, some of them were very heavy to lift. Not the gate paddles, but the ground paddles can be very difficult indeed. At least I haven't got anyone watching me. <laughs> Damn it. Gliding in very nicely. I don't want to go all the way forward because I've got to climb out using the lock ladder again. I'm just leaving the second lock and I'm going to moor up to wait for the boats to come down. It's a bit of a tight turn to moor up here. Yeah. Fortunately I've got a short boat, it does make it a little bit easier. Heavens are open again now.
I'm in lock three at the moment, just about to pass into lock four. here I go across the pound into top lock number seven when I exit there I'll be on my way again Another one I never quite get right because I always line up here. They're not straight. It's not straight, yeah, but I always line up here. So I, but I still hit on that side. That's peculiar. top lock. <laughs> I'm not going to go far today. I'm going to moor up between bridge eight and nine, spend the night here and then tomorrow I'll go back to the marina. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Cheers. So I'm on my way again. It's 20 to 3. So that's good. We're going to go just beyond Bridge 8 and moor up for the rest of the day. I've been travelling for quite a few hours now. All sorts of weather, sun, rain, sun, rain, sun, hail, sun, rain. It's been quite, uh, quite an experience, I think one could say. I was just looking at my map book to see what number this bridge, the M1 motorway bridge is, and I couldn't see it marked. But I now see it's called 6H, which is unusual. I mean, whether that's something to do with highway, because the railway bridges normally have an A. So you'd get 6A for a railway bridge or some or 7A, whatever it is, in sequence. Because the bridge ahead of me is 7, the one beyond that is 8. The bridge behind me, some long way back, is 6. So 6H could signify highway. That's my thought anyway. You're going to re-record what I was saying going under the bridge. 
I was saying, I was looking in my map book to see what number bridge the M1 motorway bridge is, because it isn't marked. And as I came under, I noticed it was marked 6H. Well, the next bridge going that way is 6, and the next bridge going this way is 7. So it would have a 6 numbering. And I do wonder whether H stands for highway. Normally where railway bridges have been put in between two standard bridges, they have an A suffix. But here we've got an H, 6H. Well again, it's turned into a lovely afternoon. Whether it will stay like that, I don't know. I've not had anything to eat at all yet. And I think I just said it was coming up to three o'clock, a quarter to three. I haven't even had a sweetie. I've been very, very good indeed. And I've got no cheese top rolls left, but I have got some long life croissants. Well, the cheese top rolls ran out a long while back, didn't they? I had to buy some other rolls. But I've got some croissants, so um, I'll have one or two of those. I'm just passing a winding hole on the left. Quite a nice wide winding hole. Some of the winding holes come to a point, whereas this one is much rounder. A good winding hole, this. So I can show you. I'm just going under Bridge 7 now. There's often boats moored up between Bridges 7 and 8, but not a one today. Well, it really is glorious now. Let's hope you've seen the end of the rain for today. Oh, I can see three boats moored where I was going to moor. I'll have to go further down, I think. <laughs> I think I have in the pass moored just before Bridge 9. It's difficult to see at the moment whether there's anyone there. But I can see available mooring looking ahead. Quite lovely through here, just need a little bit more sun. I ask for sun and suddenly it's out again. I'm going to moor along here. There's a nice gap here between the uh, trees. I can look into the sheep field. Well, it's now 10 past three. The sun is out. I'm trying to rescue myself from this jacket. <laughs> oh. It's looking like a glorious afternoon, so let's hope it stays that way. Blue skies, fluffy white clouds. What more could I want? And there's sheep in the adjoining field couldn't be better. Anyway, I'm going to sort of clean myself up 
have a cup of tea and something to eat. I'll catch up with you later. Bye for now. But it's nice to sit and just rest. I actually found that I did have one roll left. It's not a cheese top roll, but it's the rolls I bought the other day. And today the filling is Cambazola again. So I'm going to look forward to eating this. I can't think of any other day when I've cruised that the weather has been so changeable. I knew we were going to have some rain today. This is why I set off early. I wanted to get as far ahead through the locks as I could before the rain came. But the number of changes from rain, sun, rain, sun, hail, and it's been very, very heavy at times, very heavy indeed. It just stopped me from filming, it was so bad. But I've come through it all. I'm in a lovely spot here. One of my favourite positions. So I'm just going to chill out and enjoy it. <laughs> and have another bite of my roll. Keep making those videos. I will Lovely. do, certainly. Thank you. All the best. And you. May see you on the return journey. Many thanks for watching. Keep looking after yourselves, your friends and families. If you haven't yet done so, please do think about subscribing and click the little bell to receive notifications of future videos. Until we meet again, <laughs> I wish you all the very best. Take the utmost care. Bye for now.